racism is based on a couple of things. Historical systematic oppression and power. But right now, in the 21st century, racism is based on cold-blooded, unprovoked, disgraceful, savaged murder. So I ask you, how far have we come? Martin Luther King said, I have a dream. But right now we turn that dream into a living nightmare. I look around and all I see is racist police, racist headlines, racist murder, racist politicians. And worst of all, the racism is proudly public. How far have we come? We'll retweet Dave's black excellence song, but won't protest against black oppression when we know it's clearly wrong. How far have we come? When in the slightest bit of conflict, we cower away and run. We, us, me, you, white people in our privilege allowing black people to go through this pain and suffering still after all these years. How far have we come? We should be ashamed of ourselves. As a privileged race to allow our families, friends, neighbours, actors, artists, scientists, NHS workers to be living in this hell and then just sit on the fence as well in our own little shell and say, sorry, all lives matter or I'm not racist, I'm just not involved. And see that right there is how racism has evolved. It's taken over the media and taken over the politics that lead us in this multicultural world. How far have we come? Whilst we sit on the fence and watch our black friends die in an arrest. We have a privilege. We are able to leave our homes knowing our loved ones will be there when we get back. We have a privilege to go on a run late at night and not feel the force of an attack because of the colour of our skin. We have a privilege that we can win in any career path we choose and not make our hair more white to succeed in job interviews and not have to excuse how we look, how our hair feels different, how when we wear a hood we're not automatically a crook and plead we're innocent. We have a privilege and we are lucky to have one in a world where black people are so far away from it. How far have we come? No, really, I'm asking you, stop and think. Or has your ignorant, privileged brain lost the missing link? Black lives matter. And we have a job to do, to sing it louder and more true for those who are being oppressed. How far have we come? When really, we're letting white supremacy push these innocent people through the void. Mark Duggan, Ahmed Albury, Stephen Lawrence and George Floyd. And that's just to name a few. Because remember, a lot of these stories don't even make the news. And if you're racist, unfollow me. And if you're not anti-racist, unfollow me too. Because I don't stand with either of you. Because you're just as big as the problem. To all my black friends, family, neighbours, colleagues, role models, I stand with you forever and always. We shall protest in our souls. We shall protest in the sky and on land. And no, don't talk to me about educate us when you have a fucking iPhone in your hand. And no, no, just because we've decentered whiteness doesn't mean we're anti-white. We're just fighting for black people's rights. Black Lives Matter in 2020 more than ever.